Hey guys, what's up? Back with another review today. Uh, we got the JG MP5 RIS. Now before we get on to the review, let me ask you guys a few things. Um, first off, uh, do you like this new review style I'm trying out? I'm going to post a video like this, see what you guys think. Uh, do you like it where it's just the gun or do you like it where you can see me and I'm talking to you and I can show you the gun better? I'm not sure exactly how this is going to film. Like I said, this is a test. <laughs> and um, it's a lot easier for me too because I'm talking into the camera. You don't have that audio problem either. But yeah, let's get on to the uh, JG MP5. Um, let's start off with the cons of the gun first because uh, there's, there's a few, um, but they're not drastic cons that make the gun, you know, not viable. Uh, if you know me, I don't personally like JGs very well. Uh, most of them are lemons, but sometimes you get a really good one. Uh, this one's kind of a cross in between the two, but let's get on with the cons. The first one <coughs> is the magazine well. It's very loose. Alright, it's moving everywhere, and you can pull the mag right out. Alright, it's supposedly locked into place right now. No, okay, it's just... I mean, I've looked in there, I've tried to figure out how to make it work better. I found nothing. I guess what you could do is take some tape around here, wrap it around where it catches. That might help it. Like I said, I've never tried. It's not really my gun. It's not my problem. Uh, the next con to the gun, I would direct you over to the internals of the gun. There's a link in the description, and there should be an annotation on the screen right now. But go over there and check that video out, because... Uh, <laughs> It's kind of pathetic, but just go check it out, and I'll leave you to decide about the internals. But let's get on with some features of the gun. It does have an ambidextrous uh, fire selector. As you can see, it's not on here. Um, my friend who owns the gun took the selector switch off in-game, um, and the other side was already missing. It, right now, it's rigged to shoot on full auto only, which is uh, you know preferable because this gun spits out rounds really quickly and very inaccurately. If you're gonna buy this gun, CQB only people. Don't go taking this out to field. It does have a sling mount on the back. The battery's stored in the back. Uh, all you should do is pop that down just like that. It does, it does originally have a large type connector but I've rewired it to small just because we all use small batteries. The back sight here has four different apertures uh, one thing that kind of disappointed me about the back sight was that it was pretty loose and it really didn't lock into place. So if you're uh, looking for you know pinpoint accuracy, uh, you're not going to get it. <laughs> now, one thing that's really unique about this gun is the lower receiver is metal. So that does add some durability and some weight to it. Another thing that's really nice is the full metal RIS on the front here. It's very secure. Uh, it's a good quality. It adds some heft to the gun. And, and it gives it a more unique look than the standard, you know, A4, MP5. Originally, it does come with a huge flash hider that's orange. My friend's taking it off, and it just has a little uh, a flash hider up here. I don't know if there's threads. I don't think there is, but uh, they do make certain MP5-type flash hiders for this gun. As for, uh, you know, the specs and stuff, you can check out the internals. Uh, I just stock... I think it shoots around 350, 400 FPS. The stock spring was incredibly too strong for this gun. Um, it would probably shoot over 400 FPS with a .2. I've put in an M100 in here, more CQB ready. Um, but yeah, the FPS is around 400 stock. The rate of fire is decent with a 9.6. Um, and uh, one thing that did surprise me though was the hop-up unit. I'll uncover that. Uh, the hop-up's really easy to adjust. It's just this little lever right here, and all you have to do is push back to turn the hop-up on, and push forward to turn it off. It's really easy. You can adjust the hop-up on the fly, in-game even. Uh, you don't have to pull any dust covers back. You just switch it to how you like it. And it was really effective, too, when I was looking inside the hop-up chamber itself. It is a standard M4 design. Um, it was a polycarb hop-up unit, but the bucking... And the nub were uh, the nub was uh, it was hard but not too hard where the BB couldn't get through and the bucking was pretty thick so it did give a good hop up. Um, it does have some range but with this shorter inner barrel, um, it's just not very accurate. When I was shooting this gun, at about around uh, 70, 70, 60 feet, 
I mean, it was just spreading uncontrollably. Uh, I can't stress that enough about this gun, that this is not a field gun. It is definitely a CQB gun. It spits out rounds really fast and just very inaccurately, which can be a pro or a con for however you're using it. Now, overall, for 150 bucks, 125 bucks without the RAS, um, this is a, 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 pretty, a pretty good buy, I'd say. I'm, I'm hesitant to say that because of the internals, but, uh, you know, if I had to pick up an MP5, I would probably get this one because I was shocked at the overall external build quality. Besides the magazine um, problem and the selector switch, which was just pl uh, user error, you know, I can get over those features, but it's a pretty solidly built gun externally, and that's what I look for personally in an airsoft gun because I know I can fix the internals, uh, the externals, that's a different story. But yeah, for what you're paying, it is a great buy. Uh, if you're looking for an MP5, you know, and you know how to tech your guns a little bit, you can check this gun out. I mean, it, it definitely performs for a CQB situation. Um, I don't say that a lot about many JG guns, but um, yeah, it definitely has a good external build, I'll tell you that much. Uh, if you want it, check it out. Uh, I think he got it on eBike for around $150, $165, somewhere around that price range. Should be in stock. And, you know, go check it out if you want it. But yeah, that's been the review of the uh, JG MP5 RAS.